All right, YouTubers. So I'm a newbie A&P mechanic, but I've been slowly working on my box here. And this is just a quick tour of, and it's always a work in progress. But anyways, you can kind of see you've got ear protection. I bought a nice vice. I'm a vice snob. I like nice vices. This is a really nice one. I think you got off at of Amazon about 170 bucks. It's pretty sweet. Uh, pivots, blah, blah, blah. Um, I got this, I think, at Lowe's or Home Depot. This box. It's a 10 drawer. And I'm really happy with it. It's, uh, I, I thought it was huge when I first got it. And now I've got tools in it. And yeah, not so huge anymore. These are my flashlights. These are stream lights. These things are the bomb we got the big one in here is the uh i forget what model it is but anyways um they work really really well and you can drop them and beat them and they still keep working so that's good for a flashlight and then just quickly go through i kind of just labeled the drawers real quick for quick reference also a little if you borrow a tool, please return it as soon as you're done. Yeah, because stuff can walk off. Well, these are my wrenches. I've got ratchet wrenches, a DeWalt set. It's pretty nice, sweet. I think these have a little 15 uh, angle on them there. They're pretty sweet. These are Milwaukee. These are really nice. I don't really use any of the big ones, but it's nice to just have them access when you got to do something big like uh, pull off an oil filter or nut or something offsets are good these are really nice i wish they went beyond the three quarter and then i kind of split the purpose of the drawer i also have some stubbies here that i can just grab and throw in my tool cart uh some sockets mostly quarter inch drive these are three eighths drive i really like these magnetic magnetic uh rails i think i got those at uh harbor freight and then these are deep well three eighths and this is my uh, uh torque wrench in the back there quarter drive and then i went through here shadowed this drawer so i got the weir screwdrivers i like them they do a pretty nice job of course your ratcheting screwdrivers short ones and uh next drawer down is measuring so this is for sheet metal. I do a lot of sheet metal work. So, you know, straight lines, square and stuff, doing a calculation, um, dividers, what have you. Sharpies. You got to watch it. Somebody borrows it and the tip's not so sharp anymore. So it's a fine Sharpie. Anyway, that is the measuring door. This is my tap and dies and some big screwdrivers that didn't fit in the screwdriver drawer. This is my rivet tools, just, just a small collection. We've got a lot more over in the other thing, but this is my own personal collection. So I got, you know, puller, squeezer, and some deburring, just my sets and stuff, basics. And uh, tungsten bars, they're sweet. Over here to the pliers, I'm trying these plier racks. I, I kind of like them, you know, they consolidate space. So I got, you know, different various, you know, diagonal cutters and uh, uh, flat duck bills and safety and got a few nip -X and uh, some long ones. I got some long tweezers and tongs and such. And then over here, I just kind of just did, did this today. It's just kind of so, you know, any inspection and stuff, I can go right into here and just grab the mirror, the flashlight. And I will tell you, shadowing your stuff is a pain in the ass. But what's really nice is when something's not there and you're all ready to go home and you're like, uh, where's my uh, 90 degree angle car di die grinder? Yeah. So, yeah, it's nice to have that. So, uh, layer cutter, these are sweet. They do a nice job cutting holes. And of course, counter sink. Counter stink. Here are my counter stinks. And drill index. And I also keep this handy. This is nice. You know, you're drilling a lot of holes. You got to be precise. So 
if you're not sure and you go grab a drill bit, you know, like, oh, I think that's a 30, but maybe it's a, maybe it's a 21. I don't know. You can verify it. Air drills, grinders, D -d 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 -d. I just got this. Uh, this, this, this is, this is the Mac Daddy, man. This thing is sweet. It's a burr, one inch burr, fine tooth, and it's nice. Uh, anyway, this is kind of a mess. This is still a work in progress. I got some electrical stuff, crimpers, um, ohm meter, full ohm meter, multimeter. And this is all my uh, files for doing metal and hammer and shit. And then, crap drawer. Yeah. Where everything, I don't know where to put it, goes down here. So, I got bore scope in here. And squeezer tongy thingies. When you drop something, you go, oh shit. And yeah, a scale for weighing, weighing stuff. You know, you take out a chair, you, you take out some equipment out of the plane, this thing will go up to 2,000 pounds. Pretty sweet. It measures as little as five pounds. So just hang it off the, hang it wherever you can hang it, man. Bad to the bone. It's hot cool. I think it's like a hundred bucks, but it's sweet. I love this thing. Okay. Anyway, boring. Um, and then also over here is kind of my timing stuff. I've got, um, what do I got? Um, compression leak down tester, screw down. This is a um, uh, rib nut, rib nut tool thing. This is sweet, the puller, rivet puller, it's nice. Um, screw gun and um, yeah, well, that's pretty much it. So Milwaukee screw gun, this thing bad to the bone. So there you go guys, this is my quick tour. And, uh, like I said, it's a work in progress. And, uh, yeah. And then out here, I just kind of got a little charging station. I always remember to plug these bad boys in when I go home. So you got them the next day. Okay. Here's my fly cutter. I can't wait to see this thing eat my lunch. This will be fun to play with. So, and there's what I'm working on. He's skinning a horizontal. Horizontal stab on a 53 Cessna 180. <laughs> We have work here at Bentley Air, man. And uh, it's uh, pretty cool learning from the man himself. So I got a long ways to go, but uh, learning shit. So it's cool. All right, later.